Good morning. Good morning of day two. I think last night it got done to the upper 40s. Slept wonderfully. Cry of the Wild still sleeping. And I'm just going to lay here for a little bit, I think. But looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Now, you guys remember the hike from yesterday and how ridiculous that was. I mean, you know, crossing, crossing streams, grass up to here, stepping through tall mud, deep mud, just absurd. And let's see if you guys can see. Do you see this kind of bank along here? Right, right through here. That's uh, that's where I said we should cross. I was like, let's just walk along the, the shore. Part of the wilds. No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to get muddy. <laughs> I think today we're probably gonna find a new camp, and we'll probably uh, go out that way. Um, but I'm just gonna enjoy this morning. Probably have some breakfast. But uh, it's just a beautiful morning. All right, stick around. We'll see what else happens today. See, there's camp. I got my hammock under the black tarp on the left. Cry the Wild still sleeping, and his on the right. But just a real nice spot on this little ridge. We got a river on the other side, a little stream. And then we got this just to our other side, our nice morning view. I gotta say, Nick, my granola is delicious. I'm um, sure it'll beat your bacon and eggs and pancakes. It's a lot of bacon I got in there. And then, uh, yeah, I think I know a lot better than that. No, granola and yeah. powdered milk. So we noticed this morning that uh, we're camping over a huge patch of wild blueberries and I happen to have pancake batter with me and so we thought that before leaving camp we would uh, pick some so we just got started here we're probably going to fill up my, my cook pot with, uh, with berries in a minute but uh, the bushes here are just really loaded with them 
Tom's over there picking a whole bunch. See some nice bun bunches on there. Okay, so we are all geared up, packed up, ready to go. And now I'm out to join Cry of the Wild at the end of this little peninsula and do some fishing uh, before we go out and meet one of his friends. He's got one. Just calm down. So this is the ingenious contraption Cry of the Wild and Hike and Dad came up with to cook our fish. Cry of the Wild used uh, <coughs> this found piece of wire to skewer the fish and hang them. And I came up with this system to keep the tail ends up so they cook even. Pretty awesome, right? Right, Cry of the Wild? Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, he's excited. Lunch! Because he's going to be eating all those probably. <laughs> Storm started to come in and here we go. Just in time we got the tarp up and our gear moved under and let's see. Nick's still out there. It's starting to really rain though. <laughs> so uh we're gonna let the fish continue to cook hopefully and I might cook up some other stuff underneath the tarp here and stay dry. So Overall though, having a good trip, Nick's friend, Yulia, I think is her name, had to take off, go pick up her daughter or something, and they're gonna come back out later, so we'll check back with them later. And uh, for now, we're having fun. It it wasn't even supposed to rain this weekend. up and leave and Nick just about bought it in the mud that have been awesome yeah, you do kind of have that Bigfoot walk em about you. <laughs> you you don't even have to try it just you just do it Well, to wait out the storm, we decided what better way to wait out the storm than, than eat some food. So what are you having? I've got a bowl here that I'm making some of my dehydrated barbecue spaghetti. And uh, it's pretty windy out, but we brought this reflector oven along, so ultra windscreen. I, I don't know if his windscreen is big enough. 
<laughs> and it might even reflect some of that oven heat back. I got my little alky stove going. It's cooking away. And I'm having some pasta primavera. Actually, I'm not too excited, but it's food. I like food. And I like that I was smart enough to put a tarp up before it rained. Yeah, good. And not Nick. Cool. 